Hello and welcome to me first responders build. Well, I'm a bit late for that, really, but I'm putting it up as an extra. But it's going to be the Matchbox Super Kings Bins or Benz Ambulance. And here's basically what I started. It had been on my shelf for a while. Already stripped, so we won't be doing the costing sort of bath of doom today. And I've also got a badly cracked screen on it, which you'll see later. But I remedy it okay. I've, it's not one of my best jobs, but it's not one of my worst either. And there's the summer parts. The interior, interior. Excuse me, I've got a pint of cider. Few hits along the way. Yeah, and here we start with the summer parts, the the grill, the chassis and wheels, the doors, uh, the screen unit, and the body and the interior. And. It's not a brill one, as you can see there, the screen's very badly cracked and has been glued. But I managed to do, uh, not completely invisible, but I've made the screen, uh, the crack in the screen, less conspicuous. But it was pretty smashed up screen unit anyway, so there we go. What can you do? If God gives you lemons, make lemonade. Anyway, here I am just buffing up because it stood for a good while on my shelf, stripped down. I'm going over it with the wire wool just to get oxidisation and dirt off it and such. And you can see all the bits of wire wool left on my mat there that have worn off as I've been cleaning. And just doing the doors now. And on to spraying it in primer. I put it in primer and then later on I put it in Vallejo white. But little did I know the first couple of coats I sprayed I actually diluted the paint which looking at it the ones I bought they're not ones you dilute you spray them more or less straight from the bottle so once I'd worked that out I got a better finish but the others were used as an undercoat really not one of my best paint jobs but again not one of my worst it's only been a uh, quick rebuild really to get one that's been lighter enough on my shelf off the shelf so to speak and also this build anyway this one is for one my friend over at Matchbox Resurrection I'm sure he'll notice it's hopefully a Spanish ambulance and he'll enjoy Anyway, onwards. I'm doing one for him because it's going to be... Well, I think it is anyway. You'll probably tell me it's Portuguese after. But I think it's in Spanish markets. He'll let me know in the comments, I'm sure. But I'm doing the interior seats in black. With... It's actually a spray can of... Uh, what is it? bumper paints I used for it and there's the screen unit it's pretty bad really now at first I tried spraying with my new clear coat but I didn't think it's a solvent paint and it actually misted the screen but I got round that a bit later I actually used Tamiya Blue 
clear blue paint so it formed a barrier for the solvent paint and I put a couple of clay coats of Tammy over that as well to form the barrier and then I sprayed the lacquer on after and they did a half decent job you can't see into it but they look okay anyway I'm painting the rear deck inside the ambulance Tam, it's going to be doing, done a wood effect as you'll see later I actually use this is actually a Revel colour I think it's a Revel Aqua colour I'm using here it's just basically a mid brown like a yellow ochre if you will, if it were an artist colour it would be yellow ochre and it's just to lay down a basic coat of brown for wood effects because I've used Tamiya wood grain effect uh, not Tamiya sorry the Leho wood grain effect paint and you'll see the effect later it's quite it's quite a good effect to use if you're doing wood on anything like say you're painting a woody or cars with wood panel then or whatever it's a good effect to have in your armoury you'll see later it's quite a good effect anyway here I'm making a beacon for it I'm making out of when you get her fixed kits of her planes, you usually have the clay parts and they put on sprues the actual surrounding framework that the old parts are held in I've used a piece of that, broke it off and I've got it in my drill and I'm shaping the top so it's like the rounded effect top on it I'm first starting with rough coarse sandpaper to take as much as I can off at first and then I'll move on to a more medium paper to make it a bit smoother here we go, should be coming in with a more medium paper there we go and just taking it, take some off still but it's a bit more gentle than the coarser paper <laughs> and makes it a bit smoother and next after this I'll move on to the smoothest grain of all to make it very smooth I think it was 1200s I finished on smooth enough for what I'm using it for anyway you can go a lot higher grain sandpaper a lot smoother finishes but 1200s is plenty I find and just doing the finishing touches on it and then afterwards I'll take it out of the chuck ready for gluing into the roof of the ambulance there we go and here we have the ambulance, the beacons in it there but here I'm going to be putting on that's microset and there's microsol the microset is used first for laying on the decal the microset being in the blue bottle use it first you paint some onto the model surface and all it is it basically helps it adhere to it and you can move it around and stuff and this one, the actual blue one, the micro set doesn't actually dissolve the decal it's the actual red one that does a bit of, makes it softer and makes them conform to the body lines uh, which is called the micro salt which I didn't really need it on that I didn't really need the salt on that decal 
it was the top one I needed the microsol on because it went over bonnet mouldings if you will recesses and stuff and here it is going on it actually says for those that you can't really read it there and they're not they're all made decals so they're not fantastic because I couldn't really find any decent images to copy of all oh, bollocks come off of my finger there we are back on hipparate remeistern remove about and have another go but it basically says ambulance here with uh, stress over the air I think the second day rather not the first day Which I think will be Spanish, so like one will let me know, I'm sure. <laughs> I just thought he'd make a nice change rather than put the Red Cross decals on. It was either that or it went very nearly a Red Crescent ambulance, but there weren't really enough decals to do the Red Crescent version. And just that one there is a very tiny decal that went on the roof board. And there we are, the wood effect after the wood has been done. That's the Vallejo wood grain effect. Gives it a beautiful wood effect. If you varnished over that, or lacquered over it, it'll give shiny wood. But yeah, I find it to be a good effect paint. And here we go, I've also used some, oh flipping at the silver pen on the wheel ups. Can't think of the pen's name again, but I've used some of that on it. And here we have the finished article on the rotisserie of doom. <laughs> I'm joking on the turntable but yeah I think it turned out quite nice for an afternoon's mess about with an old casting that were just lingering on the shelf I had to do something rather than sitting around and not getting something out so I thought seeing as I'm working in the health profession and they had the first responders bills I thought I'd better knock an ambulance out. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my video. If you've enjoyed, please subscribe. Even better, hit the bell icon for notifications. And all that remains to say is thank you very much for watching. And take care out there. Bye for now.